right, y'all. Well, I uh, cut out a template for what is going to be our piece of plywood. And I just used a uh, piece of cardboard and just kind of slowly traced it out. Took little pieces out, little piece by piece, until I got it to fit into place. And this is a pretty good fit here. Yeah, I think this is going to work. So we'll cut our piece of plywood to this size. You know, we may have to sand it down and trim off some edges and stuff to get it to fit in how we want, but yeah, this should work. Alright y'all, so now um, I've got the holes drilled and I've got it bolted down so whenever we epoxy it down, this is what we'll end up doing. We'll just bolt it down and that's not going to go anywhere. So while I have the new piece of plywood in place, I'm going to start cutting out pieces of our 1708 fiberglass and get our first layer of fiberglass down. Same on that side. Absolutely beautiful, 65, 70 degrees today. Perfect weather for working with epoxy. All right, y'all, well, I think we are ready to go here. I've got the gloves on. I've got my stations all ready to go. Check it out, let me show you what I got going on here. Okay, so this is our, gonna be our prep table for the, the epoxy and the hardener. This is what we'll do all of our mixing. Uh, this bowl of flour here is so I can dry my hands. These gloves are a little tough to get on, so I can, Kind of dip my hand in some flour. I've got uh, my second stage of gloves ready to go because we're gonna be pressed for time. We got 20 minutes of working time with this stuff, so we're gonna get it mixed up. We've got our silica that we're gonna mix to make our peanut butter. And then we have our station. We've got some more gloves. 
we've got the plywood that's going to go up against the uh, the back plate on the transom. We're going to take our peanut butter, we're going to peanut butter everything, and then we'll stick it on there. We'll switch out a new set of gloves. And with a fresh set of gloves, we'll put these bolts on and we'll bolt it down. And then we'll smooth out the rest of the epoxy and make sure we fill in all those voids so that when we go to lay down the glass, the glass will just go down on a nice flat surface. And then once we do that, we'll get a new batch of glue, we'll add the hardener, and we'll start to soak and apply our four sheets of fiberglass. And we have them all labeled and numbered. And yeah, folks, I think we're ready to go. The weather's cooperating with this. Let's just get started on this. All right, wish me luck. Total boat, uh, the epoxy and the hardener is a five to one. The pumps for the containers are already set up so that you just do one pump each and the measurements are gonna be right. So what I'm gonna do now is just make sure I take out all of the air inside of the pumps before I actually start uh, pumping out what I'm gonna be using. clock is ticking. All right, I think that's pretty good. Made up a uh, new batch of uh, the peanut butter stuff, and I made this one a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this stuff in. I think we've got the edges tapered up good enough here. I think we've got the edges on this side tapered. I think we're good here. All right, folks, well, as far as this first layer of glass goes, I think it's looking pretty good. I've got, it looks like I've got most of the air bubbles out. There's a few small ones that I can see down here, but this was my most concerning part. I didn't want, I wanted to make sure I didn't have any voids in here. I'm not seeing any air bubbles over here. I'm not seeing them on this side, which is good. So we've got a nice, just smooth, surface all around and, and uh 
this 90 degree angle here was what I was most concerned about, but um, it looks like it's taken really well. This uh, roller for uh, rolling out air bubbles came in handy. I f at first I started out with just using my hand and that was working, but to, to, uh, to get the little small ones that uh, you kind of have to zoom in to see, this thing works really well. All right, y'all, welcome to day three of our transom repair. I was just having a look at our work from yesterday and uh, it's looking good. Now we're just gonna get in there with the sander one more time and sand everything down, smooth it out, and then we'll pre-cut our uh, layers of fiberglass. We'll mix up the epoxy with the hardener and then we'll soak and apply the fiberglass and let the epoxy sit, cure, do its thing, and we should be good to go. We're about in the mid 70s today, which is great for working with the epoxy. It blew in something, I don't know what, but my allergies are absolutely through the roof right now. But yeah, folks, let's do this sanding real quick and then we'll get to the fiberglass. All right. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do 10 pumps, stir, and we've got our station ready to go. We're gonna soak them down. We got the first two layers for the top and bottom. We'll soak those and we'll see how much time we have. I think we're gonna have to mix a second batch of epoxy and then we've got the third and fourth layers here that we'll soak and apply. All right, y'all, let's get to it.
All right, y'all. Well, um, I didn't get a chance to film uh, putting on these last few layers. Uh, I was cutting it close on time, and the battery on the GoPro is gonna die, and I just, I had to move. But, as you can see, we finished. We are done. The hard part is over. Uh, we're just gonna let that sit overnight tonight, and then tomorrow we'll come in with the sander. I'm guessing five or 10 minutes with the sander, just kind of smooth it out, and then uh, we'll just hit it with some paint, and man, we'll be rocking and rolling. But yeah, just uh, give me a few minutes here, and you folks will get to see the final product. And here we go. Alright y'all, Will, we are done. First time I've ever done a fiberglass job ever before. I think it looks nice and clean, beefed up that area. I am not gonna worry about that moving forward. Total Boat, your product is awesome. I can't say enough good things about Total Boat. And a special huge shout out to Mr. Steve Hawk. Thank you so much for all of your input and feedback uh, throughout this process. Uh, I don't think I could have made it to full completion without your help, sir. So thank you so much. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Put a lot of work into this one. And until next time, I think Thunder Road is ready to splash. All right, y'all.